Today we have bad news for Intel fans who are looking forward to an Intel Arc GPU. We also have reports of Ampere GPUs having their hash rate limiter bypassed by 100%. And finally the pinnacle of gaming performance is going to be achieved by Phoenix APUs that is going to take us very far from where we currently are. You might know that recently Intel's first batch of ARC desktop GPUs lineup got leaked with the MSRP along with their launch dates or more like a particular time frame when we can expect the GPUs to launch worldwide. The GPUs are not only horribly priced but are also getting delays after delays with each day passing. The suggested MSRP of these cards already makes them dead on arrival. But at least we hope that they will be launching at the end of Q2 giving gamers an alternative option at a time when there are still not enough GPUs. However, a new report from Igor's lab is suggesting that the GPUs are once again delayed and this time again because of the unfinished drivers. Intel already promised to launch the latest ARC driver at the end of April but still to this date they haven't launched the driver which is obviously telling us that the driver issue is real. Previously, the RK380 and A750 were supposed to launch at the end of May or early June and it was supposed to be followed by the A580 in July. Now it is reported that these cards are not going to launch before July and that we can only expect the card somewhere between the 1st of July and the 31st of August. So compared to Intel's initial plan to launch these cards in the very first quarter of 2022, we are seeing them around 4 to 5 months late. And of course, not only fans are frustrated by these delays, but the AIBs are also annoyed with Intel's planning. And there are still many issues that Intel is going to face in the course, including the select launch partners, the conditions for RMA and of course the pricing. Next we have reports that confirm the unlocking of RTX 30 series LHR GPUs that will now provide a 100% hash rate. The developers at NiceHash have reported that they have finally unlocked the LHR GPUs through its newest QuickMiner software and the users can now obtain more profits than ever before. This unlock has been confirmed by Benchmark.pl team and from this screenshot we can see that the RTX 3080 Ti can now provide up to 117 mh per second hash rate which was previously less than 90 mh per second. The previous 85 to 90 mh per second hash rate of RTX 3080 Ti was also due to the result of the 70% unlock by nice hash developers because initially Nvidia equipped the Ampere GPUs with the LHR to provide only up to 50% of their mining capability. This means that new miners can buy the LHR editions of the Ampere GPUs and still obtain 100% profit just as they would with the non-LHR edition. Let's see how far they can go when Ethereum moves to proof of stake. Lastly, we have rumors suggesting that AMD Phoenix APUs are really a great deal. Previously, we heard that these APUs will compete with the budget graphics cards such as the RX 6500 XT. But according to recent tweet by Greymon, we can expect the performance to go up to RTX 3060 M60 Watt GPU. The RTX 3060 M60 Watt GPU is much slower than the desktop RTX 3060, but it is still equivalent to the desktop RTX 2060 in gaming performance. That means you can really game at 1080p resolution with ultra settings with the help of Phoenix APUs. While Greymon didn't mention if it is an entry level or a high end APU, I believe this will be the flagship Phoenix APU. And even if it is so, it will really change the PC market to a state when many would prefer going with the APU if they can't afford a dedicated GPU. The Phoenix APUs are set to operate between 35 to 45 watt range as I reported in one of my previous videos and due to being a part of Zen 4 based Ryzen 7000 CPUs, it is going to bring massive improvement in gaming performance. Currently Phoenix APUs are set to launch in early 2023 while the latest report from Digitime suggests that the Ryzen 7000 desktop CPUs are going to launch in early September this year. Ryzen 7000 CPUs are reported to only support DDR5 memories but with this AMD is set to break records in memory overclocking and is going to release the expert technology. Watch this video right here if you want to know more about this technology and subscribe if you don't want to miss any latest updates. Till then goodbye and I will see you next time.